Hi, first grade. Today's question is, what inspires people to make art? Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and practice for our next project. Our next project is going to be clay. It's going to be next week, and I'm going to need you guys to try really, really hard. You guys need to be prepared. I'm going to go over how to make an owl with you, but let's talk about our shapes and forms, and we're also going to talk a little bit about texture. You should have Play-Doh, a popsicle stick, and a marker cap. Give me a thumbs up if you have all those items. You can go ahead and take your Play-Doh out of the cup. You can push your marker cap and popsicle stick away from you. You don't need it right now. Try to get all the Play-Doh you can. And then to get us started, let's go ahead and create a form. A form is anything 3D. So a shape is flat like a pancake. A form is 3D. Let's go ahead and make a spear. That is a very round shape. Go ahead and take your palms of your hands. And then show me you've done it by placing your form, your spear, on the table and give me a thumbs up. Now let's make it a shape. Remember, shapes are flat, 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 flat. So let's go ahead and flatten it like a pancake. Make the biggest pancake that you can and give me a thumbs up. All right, we're gonna make the wings of our owl. What you wanna do is take the sides, fold them in like so, and then give them a little press. Press it all together, okay? And then do the same thing on the other side. Press, push it all together until it kind of looks like a burrito that's open. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. All right, so we have the wings, but now we need the head. So we're gonna pull the top down, and this is going to be the face of our owl. Go ahead and push that down, and then give me a thumbs up. Now. Owls actually have little feathery ears, so you can kind of pinch the ears, make them a little bit pointier. After you've given it some ears, give us a thumbs up. Now I want you to take your marker cap, and I want you to do two big eyes. Ah! And then give us a thumbs up. All right, now you can use your popsicle stick to add some texture. Can I put a little line in between the eye? Ooh, how scary. Ah, maybe I can use this to make the texture of feathers all over his body or her body. Maybe I can pinch and give him a little beak. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Go ahead and make your owl and then give us a thumbs up. All right, now we're gonna practice again. So go ahead and squish your poor owl. Aw, sorry owl. Back into a spear and then give us a thumbs up. All right, now I'm going to test you. You're gonna do it again, but show me that you remember the steps. First, you're going to flatten it out like a pancake. Push in the sides. Give them a good squish. Push down the face. Give it some eyes, some pointy ears, add some texture. And maybe even pinch a little beak for him or her. Give us a thumbs up once you have your owl. Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes to make what you want this time. Roll it out, you can make some forms, you can make a person. If you wanna practice your owl for a couple more minutes, that's okay too, but go ahead and just play with your tools. You can make texture, have a little bit of fun. And then three minutes, I'll give you your next activity. Okay, listen up. So now you can choose a new activity. You could continue to use the Play-Doh or you could put it on the back counter if you're all done. You're gonna return the marker cap and the, the popsicle stick. We're gonna need these for next week. Another option is, is you could try out the Pottery app on the iPad. On the iPads, you might notice that we have called Pottery. It's this one right here, is what it looks like, it has a little vase on it. You can actually use it to create a piece of clay. And it actually goes through the steps of, fire, of firing real clay. So you, first you have to make your pot. You can't make an owl in this game, which is kind of a bummer, but you can make something else. You can fire it. You're going to send it to the oven where it gets to 2,000 degrees. And it really does get red hot like that.
You can add colors, of course. And it will tell you how much money you make. So those are your options today. You could even start planning out your owl. But I want to make sure that you're 100% prepared for clay next week. So do whatever you need to do to wrap your brain around this project. Because once we do it, we only got one day to do it. There's no coming back and finishing later. Yes, yes? All right. Those are your activities for today. Have fun. And I'm excited to start clay with you next week. So be here.